Hi, this is Jenny Jones Thompson from InsideOutGlamour.com. Excited to bring you a video of a mermaid inspired eye look. I've got my little sea jewelry on today. I got this a few, oh, a few, like 10 years ago in St. Augustine, and it's very sentimental to me. It got me thinking about mermaid looks. Even my nails today are kind of looking like fish scales. I'm totally inspired, and I'm ready for a trip to the beach. Can you tell? All right, well, hope this video works for you and enjoy it. All right, let's get started. I'm going to start with primer. This is Wet n Wild Fergie primer. I hope it doesn't. There, it came out pretty smoothly. Oh, I thought. There we go. Mishaps happening live, y'all. It is a decent uh, primer, very inexpensive at the store, and it does a pretty good job. All right, you can tell I've already done the rest of my face since I want to focus on the eyes. All right, and this is a palette. Now, this is like cheap, cheap. I don't, I don't remember exactly how much, but I got it at Five Below. I love my Five Below store. Profusion, and I got it because of the other things I'd gotten from Profusion I'd been really happy with. The palettes that come out around Christmas time that are kind of like almost urban decay, they have really good quality. I have one of those eyeshadows that I'm obsessed with, so I wanted to try this and see how it worked. And I'm working with these four shadows right here in the corner to work on our mermaid look. I love those. All right, so I'm going to wet my eyeshadow brush. This is a Mary Kay eyeshadow brush and I start with the one in the corner to just give it a good base color with which to work this is my brush is wet and I have already put the uh, primer on it's gonna really stay put there won't be any moving around so this is not for the faint of heart if you don't if you want to be able to move your mistakes and blend more then then don't do probably don't do the primer only try wetting your brush or do it dry first if you're scared that would be an easier way to way to ease into it all right so then I'm gonna go to this one and starting about halfway out I'm gonna go to this and I'm going to the bone here a little bit higher than the crease it's where I like to go with mine then I'm gonna jump to here this one and do the outer part I did the other eye using a liner brush up top but because it's not super blendable because we're going for that heavy pigment I'm just gonna stick right now with this Okay. Going back with the middle color up here a little bit, just to be sure I got it. Okay, now I am going to take the liner brush at this point and wet it slightly, dampen it, put it in the middle color to bring it under the eye. Oh, I got this eye good. I might have to go back and get the other eye just as well. Okay, see that? Now I'm going to go to the darker for the outer part of it. Now I might blend this out a little bit to make it look more dramatic. Okay, so this palette definitely was under $3. Can't go wrong there. I'm going to go to this pale, pale yellow as my highlighter. Let's blend it a little bit. Okay, on to eyeliner this is wet n wild fergie cream liner and brush i should use this more often because they really were right on with this stuff it's so 
easy to apply even though you might be intimidated by it. It's just such a good cream liner. You want to be sure your brush stays clean because if not you'll have a little bit of flaking liner and chance for things to grow. And sometimes I'm not disciplined enough to want to wash it all the time and that's the only reason that I don't do this particular liner more often. Look how much that opens up the eye though, wow. I gave a little bit of a tail there. Kind of make them look even. All right, now let me go. I'm going to do my fiber lash real quick. Go with the gel. Crazy makeup faces. Can't avoid them. You're doing your makeup on camera, it's gonna happen. <laughs> All right, onto the fibers, which come with it. It's like my little sweater in the bottle. Teddy bear almost, it's like fur in there. Back to the gel. Sorry for my sniffles. See how long my lashes are getting? I don't sell this stuff, but I really like it because even my own natural lashes have gotten longer since using it because of all the good like green tea and other ingredients that are in it. I'm going to go to the fibers one more time. I'm still under seven minutes right now, so I feel like I can do that. Okay. And one more time on the gel. So I feel like a little bit of, uh, remember Ginger on Gilligan's Island? She had like massive lashes, even though she was stuck on the island. I want to be like Ginger. Massive lashes. Okay. See how much more open up those eyes are. And I love thinking about mermaids and summer and swimming in the ocean. I'm gonna throw in a little gloss. This is Wet n Wild Wild. I didn't realize how many Wet n Wild things I was grabbing. Wet n Wild Mega Slicks in Mojave Desert. It's just a nice neutral gloss and it smells really good. Vanilla-ish. Hope that works for you. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out other videos on my blog at insideoutglamour.com. Thanks for watching.